So what had happened was, I jumped in the shower and I realized that I didn't film an intro. The look that I'm going to be creating today by the thumbnail that you guys seen is going to be Snow White's Witch and this is the original witch, the cartoon witch. I'm going to show you guys what picture I went based off of. I always look to pictures for inspo on how to transform into a character. I really enjoy transforming into like cartoon characters. I don't know what it is. You guys have probably noticed it if you guys do follow me on my Instagram. I'll go ahead and put my Instagram name right here so you guys can check me out if you're not already following me. I try to stay active on Instagram even though Instagram is not my friend right now. I don't want to make this intro too long. I just wanted to come on here and introduce myself if you are new to my channel. My name is Tracy and I make beauty videos, special effect videos, tutorials in Spanish, which I recently started. I should have one on Saturday, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe down below and also turn on post notifications so that you're not missing out on any of my Halloween looks this year. And without further ado, I don't want to bore you guys too long. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Oh, and if you could just give it a thumbs up, it does help my video get out there, be seen by people because I put in so much hard work into my videos and I hope that you guys see that. I know you guys do because you guys have been liking a lot of my videos lately and just engaging with me, letting me know that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. So thank you very much and let's just go ahead and get in. I know I already said that, but let's go. There's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark. You should know. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this Elmer's glue stick and then just use it to flatten my eyebrows out. I'm going to take a spoolie as well and then just brush them out. Once they're dry, I'm going to go ahead and set them with some setting powder. Once you have dusted the powder off, you can go ahead and apply paint. For paint, I'm using the Mayron Paradise paint and just creating the eyeballs for the witch. This witch has some really big eyeballs. <laughs> When using paints, you want to make sure that once you've applied that first layer, you let it dry before applying the second layer. The second eyeball is going to be shaped a little bit different because I'm just going based off of the picture that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I'm going to create the eye eyeballs, I guess? No, what do you call these? The pupils. Yeah, the pupils. And I'm just going based off of the shape of my eye. That way, when I close my eye, you really can't see it. All the paints that I'm using in this video are Mayron, so I'm now taking the black one to create the eyebrows and this is the part where I'm showing you why the eyeball is different on this eye. It's because this is the bitchy brow. I never really apply face makeup before using paints only because if I mess up it's so easy to just wipe off which you're gonna see that I've done here in this part of the video. I just want to leave some of these parts in the video because I make a lot of mistakes but you can always go back in and fix it which look my eyebrows are looking a little bit better. <laughs> Not. Now I'm just adding some of the wrinkles on top of the eyebrows. They don't look much like wrinkles but they will. <laughs> Outlining the eyes and the pupils if you get some paint on your eyelashes, that's totally fine because you can go back over that with some mascara and it'll blend right in. So when you close your eyes, it actually looks like an entire eyeball. And I'm pretty impressed with how my eyes came out in this video, so I really hope that you guys are liking it so far. For foundation, I'm taking the True Blend Foundation and I'm in the shade T30. You definitely want to use a matte foundation only because if you use one that's too moisturizing, the paints might not work well with it. Now using the black paint to outline the witch's smile, creating the little cheeks right here. This witch apparently only has one tooth, so let's just go ahead and draw that in. Now I'm coloring in her tongue. Towards the back of the tongue, I'm coloring it in with some maroonish eyeshadow. And I'm doing it, I would have done it black, but I'm going based off of the picture, like I mentioned. So, yeah. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and outline it all with some black paint. 
Okay, so this witch only has one tooth, and she has horrible, horrible dark circles. So I'm beginning to think that I am drawing a crackhead. <laughs> I know you were wondering what I was going to do about the nose. So now I'm applying some liquid latex, and I picked up a nose from Spirit Halloween for about $7, and that's what I'm applying here. It almost feels like a freaking balloon. The material of the nose is more of a rubber feel than a latex, so I'm applying a darker shade of foundation so that it blends better with my skin. I'm using the same eyeshadow that I used on the mouth, and I'm applying it towards the nose area because the witch's nose has a little bit of red to it. <laughs> I wonder why. So now I took a black eyeshadow because I really wanted to intensify the eye sockets for this look. So now using my black paint, I'm going to create the face shape of the witch. I really want to create the illusion that this witch has some really high cheekbones and a really pointy chin. Okay guys, so I'm going to end my voice over here because all I'm going to be doing is adding detail to this look. I'm going to be shading in, adding highlights, adding smaller wrinkles, and it's just going to be all detail work. So I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you're enjoying all of my Halloween looks that I'm doing so far, and I still have more to come, so be sure that you do subscribe down below. Make sure you do like the video and comment any suggestions that you guys may have. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys. Look on the skin, the symbol of what lies within. Now turn red. Kemp's no white to make our hunger for a light. <laughs> Have a bite.